everyone, it's Jamie here. If it's your first time with me, welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. If you are a returning viewer, well, welcome home. In today's episode, we are eating our way around Morella's Explorer 2 cruise ship. So get ready for a week's worth of cruise food. I'm going to show you all the restaurants, cafes and eateries on board, plus menus and a review of the food we sampled. Loosen those belts and here we go. First up is Vista, an Italian restaurant, and it's included in your cruise fare. Thank you. Cheers, Matthew. I'm on holiday. He's on holiday, yeah. We've got some olives and oil. A bit of balsamic. Uh, can I have focaccia, please? Oh, nice little bread basket, thank you very much. I can see parmesan, I can see tomato. Mm, that's absolutely delicious. Salty, bread's really light, fluffy. Listen up, we are all inclusive on a Morella cruise, so those drinks are gonna keep getting topped up for you. Enjoy. The menu at Vista changes midweek, so you are gonna wanna come back. If you need longer to look through the dishes, no problem, just pause the video. Ready? That's good, Dad. Oh, Matthew. I've got minestrone soup. Tiny bowl of soup, <laughs> but what's it like? Very tasty, very wholesome, tiny, but very good. The Parpadelli Carbonara is the one dish on the menu to come with a supplement. It costs £4.95. I think you're paying for the theatre here. This multi-layered and none too sloppy lasagna was a big hit with us both. We don't like a sloppy lasagna. Very tasty. And the Parpadelli. Smooth, creamy, a bit alfredo -y more than carbonara. Good. Couple sides, green beans and pancetta, and potato with different herbs. Affogato in Italian means drowned, and quite literally, you are drowning the ice cream with espresso coffee. Both desserts were a hit with us. Anyway, very nice meal at Vista, recommend it. It's breakfast time, and we've come to Latitude, which is the main dining room. Right at the back of the ship, up the aft. Nice menu. Menu for today. Is it almost finished? Yeah, alright. <laughs> Just a plain omelette for me this morning. A bit of brown toast and a few baked beans. Sausage, ash brown and omelette for Matthew. The Snack Shack, which is essentially grab and go and fast food, is located on deck 11. This is where you'll find salads, sandwiches, rolls, wraps, hot dogs, burgers, chicken wings, and it is included in the price of your cruise fare. There's also some very colourful seating with great ocean views put aside for diners. We found the food here to be just okay. We definitely would recommend eating at the buffet or for example Nonna's Italian for a better quality lunch experience. And here is that buffet, the marketplace. This is a self-serve affair. You can even help yourself to different beverages like juices, coffees, teas, wines and beers as well on tap. You are all inclusive after all. <laughs> and at the marketplace, you can enjoy afternoon tea between the hours of 3 and 5 pm. There's a good range of sandwiches and rolls. The sausage rolls in particular were yummy. We had scones. I say scone, not scone. Get over it. I don't care whether you put your jam or your cream in first, just put it in your mouth and enjoy it. Plenty of desserts on offer here as well. And there are also gluten and sugar-free alternatives. You can eat al fresco because there's a terrace right at the aft of the marketplace. The coffee port is a great space to enjoy speciality coffees, teas, chocolates, and cookies. Um, yeah. yeah. Come those prices. A premium drinks package covers all costs of drinks here. Best iced coffee 
ever. Make sure you come to the coffee pot. Make sure you come to the coffee pot. I'm in bad. Do you think you're funny? No. Do you think I'm funny? No. What am I? Stupid. <laughs> Tonight we are eating in Korola, which is a speciality Asian restaurant. We've got the best table though. Look at the size of this window. All right, I know you want to have a look at the menu. Here we go. Just so you know, it was £25 per person to come along to this speciality uh, Asian restaurant. And as for drinks, they do have some Asian inspired cocktails uh, unique to this particular restaurant. Mafu is a big supporter of my vlogging venture. Right, so we've just had a bread basket arrive. We've got prawn crackers, naan, and poppadom. We've got sweet chili sauce, a raita, and a mango, which is spicy. We've just received an amuse bouche. It's a California roll, which is uh, sushi, rice, crab, avocado. Right, I can't eat fish or seafood, so Matthew's having mine. Oh, there he goes. Right. Spicy sauce, not too fishy. Smoked chicken tempura with red bean mayonnaise. Right. I've got the pork gyoza and I did wonder if they were going to be steamed or pan fried. There's pan fried, they look amazing. Ooh. That's really delicious. It's kind of got a, a nutty sort of flavour to it as well. Very good. Right, and our feast has arrived. Yes, please. Tuna chicken, it's very hot, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Spicy. Are you done with this one, sir? Yeah. So that's the Makani chicken, fried rice, and naan. So you need to open it from the pit. Vegetable papillot. We have a yellow dal, and we also have onion bhaji. I'd say that's a, a good amount of food. <laughs> Ta-da! Right, so I ordered super spicy uh, buna. Let's see if it really is. Normally when you ask for lots of spice, people are still like really wary of giving you too much. Um, okay, it's super tasty. The buna is really good and it is spicy. I asked for hot. I'd say that's sort of medium hot. It's not hot, but it's very good. And this is a super spicy, hopefully, chicken makani. Kind of creamy, tomatoey, good kick of chili. Again, I wouldn't describe that as hot. I'd say that kind of medium going into hot. So if you come to Korola and you really like your spicing, uh, you're gonna have to say very hot. Please excuse my fingers. This is the only way to eat bhaji. Crispy on the outside, a little bit soft in the middle. Very tasty. Okay, I'm a massive fan of dal. So let's see what it's like at Korola. Mm. Actually, that's really good. Nice, full, earthy lentils, but a really nice kick of ginger in that as well. I like that a lot. And the vegetables. I mean, they're quite al dente, which I like, but green, very buttery, which I wasn't necessarily expecting. They're okay. The naan, it's uh, very thick, quite doughy. I kind of like it when it's in a tandoor and it all puffs up. It's okay. I mean, rice is everything, so. Mm. It's quite light, fluffy, some vegetables. I like that. So this is the uh, tempura cheesecake. Let's go. So surprisingly, that's not actually very sweet, which is a good thing. The best I can liken it to is um, freshly made donuts without all the sugar on the outside. It's very Moorish. I like it. It's morning number two and we are back in the main dining room for breakfast. Oh, I think we've got a good seat here. Thank you. Today's special. It's Saturday. Okay. No, another day, another omelette, but they're really good here. Now then, I wanted to let you know that on the open decks, deck 11, you can help yourself to a range of coffees and teas. Welcome to Scoops, ice cream and frozen treats. Wow. 
Wow. We are gonna eat at the Beach Cove. Exciting. So this is speciality dining and it costs £11.95 per person. Pickled cucumber salad. Mm. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, and the uh, rice rice roll and the French baguette. I'll have the French please. How many sir? Uh, two please. So we shared starters of beef nachos. Oh my giddy arms. This is the starter of uh, the barbecue ribs, beef slider and a, a mango salsa. Slider is excellent. It's so moist, succulent, very tasty, very flavoursome like that. Mm, that's really good. The nachos themselves are made out of fried bread really elevated nachos in my opinion i would say that's actually a very good portion with you there's yeah. a lot of chicken on that and that's what some, i mean it's yeah good. you want some onion and peppers okay. this is the burnt ends of pork and i've got some pickled cucumber and fries as well let's try matthew's chicken first that's really flavoursome, nice and charred, moist, very good. Burnt ends. That's really good as well. I think it needs to be a little bit more burnt, a bit more charred, but it's got a really good flavour. Matthew's gone for the strawberry cheesecake. And we also have the key lime pie. Verdict. It's nice. The Beach Cove is absolutely well worth the cover charge. You must go. It's been a big surprise hit of our week on board Explorer 2. Today we are trying the Marketplace Buffet for our breakfast for the first time. As you can see, there's plenty of choice at the buffet for breakfast. They also have pancakes and an omelette chef on hand. It's dinner time. We've come to Mediterranean Tapas. There's no surcharge involved here. It's actually a section of the Marketplace buffet that's been put aside for something a little bit different. Mantequilla, salud, tapas, vino blanco de la casa. Right, so we are starting with the combo board, which as you can see has a range of cheeses, meats, breads, and fruit. Alrighty, so this is dinky, very small tapas. Um, we've got tortilla española, Spanish omelette, patatas bravas, spicy potatoes, albondigas with uh, the meatballs, croquetas de jamón y queso. Um, we've got cheese and ham croquettes there. Pollo andaluz, so that's the chicken dish. Champignones al ajillo, mushrooms and a garlicky sauce. Alubias y chorizo, we've got white beans and chorizo. All right, so the verdict of the tapas. Well, everything tasted very nice. The chicken was a bit so-so, a bit flavorless. Everything else though was really good. I would say that the portions are very small. Now I know tapas is normally small uh, portions, but these ones are so get two of each, one per person. Uh, we're not full up. We're going to probably go pizza now. It's Nonna's time. This is included with your cruise fare, by the way. No extras. You can choose to eat kind of outside, but we are going to go into the actual restaurant. All right, let's have a peep. This is exciting, folks. Oh, this is really nice in here. You are in charge of your own destiny at Nonna's. All right, we start off with some focaccia and salad. And 
the Nonna's pizza has arrived. It smells really good actually, and look, it's got a nice charred look around the outside, just as I like it. <laughs> Mmm, that's nice. Nice, light, thin base. Nice and charred around the outside. Very tasty. I've got some chili flakes on mine. I like it. A fan. Good morning from the Marketplace Buffet, and it's time to see how that omelette chef shapes up. Very well, as it turns out. Pancakes are not so good here. Lunchtime in the sandwich and panini bar located in the Marketplace Buffet. And I can't resist a few extras from the buffet itself. We're back in Vistas for some more Italian. Good evening. Good evening. I'm super excited. I didn't realise they actually changed the menu in Vista. A little bit different to when we came at the start of the cruise. Awesome. Oh no, I'm good. Yeah, potato yeah. will be great. Thank <laughs> <Okay>. you. <Yes. laughs> Matthew is arancini. Go on, cut for it, Matthew. What's it look like? Ta da! Cheese! Tuscan soup for me. Alright, I've just stolen some arancini. Um, they're good. I'd say a little bit bland. Could do with a little lift of flavour. And the Tuscan soup. That is flavoursome. Wholesome. A bit smoky as well from the bacon or pancetta. I like that. There is a zucchini fritters as well. So I've gone with the penne arrabbiata. Nice and smarty, good kick of chili. Ah, I kind of like the standard arrabbiata. We're good. Dessert time. Matthew has the limoncello cheesecake. So it actually tastes like limoncello. No, <laughs> like lemon. Yeah, lemon cheesecake. Damn. Wanted the alcohol. Back to Nonna's. This time, this is our main dinner, not our second. <laughs> In a shocking change of plans, I'm going for the pasta instead of the pizza. Cheers everyone, I'm going totally tropical tonight. <laughs> Cheers Matthew. Pleased to report back that pizza and pasta were both big hits here, although the pasta was slightly on the small side. Let's have a look at a typical marketplace dinner. There's a pizza station here, but not up to the same standard as Nonna's pizza. And here's a typical menu you can enjoy at the Marketplace Buffet for your dinner. And yes, the food keeps on coming. Nonna's at lunchtime is a little bit different as you're going to help yourself to three different types of pizza. But the pasta is still made to your requirements and is still excellent, if not small. Sunsea and skewers is another option for lunch. It never seemed very busy and I wasn't sure that many of the passengers knew about it. So come take a look. Are we saving the best to last? Here's the Surf and Turf Steakhouse for dinner. We have left Surf and Turf to the last night. Apparently it's the best. We'll be the judge of that though. Let's have a look and see what it's like. Busy in here and it's 9 p.m. Book in advance. Reserve your spot, folks. Oh, it's homemade, is it? Yes, this is a homemade. Oh, nice. Together with unsalted butter for you. Yay. Okay. I know that's just butter, but it's really creamy, Morris. Delicious. And a little sprinkling of Himalayan salt over the top of the bread and the butter. It's good. 
Amu's bush. And unfortunately I can't eat that because it's like raw and I can't eat raw beef. I have gone with the French onion soup and Matthew has the deep fried chicken bouquet which um, has a coriander batter and a mustard sauce. The chicken unfortunately was quite average and lacked flavour. However, I'd just like to say I've had the celebrated French onion soup on Celebrity and on Princess. This one is by far much better. There you go, I've said it. I never knew this, but this little pitch fork, the two pronged fork, is used for steak to prevent too much of the juice escaping. Imagine two juices, four juices. Matthew has the sweet lobster tail and chicken, although both lacking in flavour again. Sirloin steak for me with a green peppercorn sauce. Here we have sides of green beans, tomato and bacon, fries, and also onion rings. Ta-da! Look, the steak, sublime. Fries are really nice. Uh, the green beans with bacon and tomato, absolutely delicious. The green peppercorn sauce was really bad. It's like, uh, it's just so piney and floral, really not good with a steak. This is the chocolate brownie with caramel ice cream and a chocolate sauce. And this is the zesty trio, which has a lemon tart, a lemon meringue and a lemon mousse and all sorts of gorgeous little dollops of something gorgeous there. We felt we had not saved the best to last. This was a very inconsistent meal. The highs were certainly very high, but the lows were really low. Honestly, we preferred Corolla. The Dining Club is Morella Explorer 2's fine dining experience. And I'm really sorry we didn't get a chance to eat here. Look, we were only on board for a week and have you seen how much we've eaten? Nonetheless, I did pop in to give you a quick peep at the decor and here's a look at the menus on offer. Now, we have friends who have eaten here and they absolutely swear by it, but that's just their opinion, of course. And I haven't even touched on late night snacks at the marketplace. Here's a peep at the menu. Of course, you could always have room service. Room service is chargeable, by the way, at about five pounds per dish. And there you have it, folks. That's our experiences of every meal we had whilst on board Explorer 2. We feel that Morella often gets quite a bad press and reputation for its quality of food. However, the range of food on offer on board, I think, is excellent for a ship of this size. And the quality overall, we felt, was very strong. As always, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or comments, please drop them below. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Hey, pipe down yonder cow.